implants of 3.0 or 3.5 diameters using Blue Sky Plan generate an implant guide using a standard guide tube with an inner diameter of 5.1 mm. The tube will match the key with an ID of 5.0 outside diameter. Use the keys with the smaller outside diameter tube. These inner diameters are labeled near each hole. They are marked by the diameter of the cutting aspect of the drill. The smaller diameter is the cutting diameter. In this case 2.0 mm. This is the stop diameter of the drill. The hole in the key is large enough to allow the stop section of the drill to pass. Each diameter drill has a specific stop diameter that matches a specific key. The guide tube in the guide will precisely guide the trajectory of the drill. The stopping portion of the drill will limit the penetration of the drill. We will be showing how to place a 3.5 diameter by 10 mm long implant. Verify fit of guide. Start from left and the sequence is 2.0 by 6, 2.5 by 6, 3.0 by 6. We will need a particular keyhole to match each diameter drill being used. The 2.0 by 6 mm drill will use the 2.0 side of the OD, 5 mm, key. Place the 2.0 side of the key in the guide. Proceed with the 2.0 by 6 mm drill. The 2.5 by 6 mm drill will use the 2.5 side of the OD, 5 mm, key. Place the 2.5 side of the key in the guide. Proceed with the 2.5 by 6 mm drill. The 3.0 by 6 mm drill will use the 3.0 side of the OD, 5 mm, key, it has only one hole. Place the 3.0 side of the key in the guide. Insert the 3.0 by 6 mm drill into the key and proceed to drill with the 3.0 by 6 mm drill. We will then proceed to deepen to the final depth of 10 mm by sequentially deepening the final depth. First the 3.0 by 8 mm, then 3.0 by 10 mm. You do not need to change the key to deepen the 3 mm osteotomy. The variable height driver will be used to place the implant. Attach the 3.5 by 10 mm implant to the handpiece variable driver. No key is needed to place this implant. The guided driver is sized to fit the 5.1 mm tube inside the guide. If the implant seats to the first mark when handpiece driven, then stop. Most of the time the bone will be dense enough that the implant will stall out before the implant completely seats. If it does not seat to the first mark switch to the ratchet driven driver, then seat to the first mark. For these cases we recommend that the guided ratchet driver be used to complete the placement. Do not exceed 70 Newton centimeters of insertion force. Place until the first mark.